Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect, so let's start. So I'm gonna start from here, as you can see here in the layers, there's two layers, there's rectangle one which is a background, a blue background, with the color 004752, and a cheese text, so the cheese I chose here is popular STD font, and 495 size. And the color I chose is right click, blending options, and I chose a gradient overlay, with the blend mode normal, 100 opacity, linear style, 100 scale, and angle you put on 90. And the colors I chose, the first one is 6% location, and the color is FECA50. The second one is FDC542 on 39% location. The third one is FFD269 on 82% location, and the last on 100% location. FEC A50 and you'll have this nice color okay so after you're done with this we go to right click on it and wrap text and put it on arc and put it on plus 50 I mean plus 10 okay and after that you go to filter and choose distort zigzag and press convert to smart object and put it on 7 and 3 you can do even 18 if you want, but I'm gonna put it for now on 7 Press OK and you'll have this curvy effect and after that add a new layer and Then hold control and press on the box of cheese and you will have a selection and then we have to go to brushes and Go down until you find cheese I'm gonna put it a link in the description below you can download this brush and just double click on it when you download it and it will appear here and click on cheese holes and I'm gonna put the size on 35 and then go to marquee tool right click on it make work path and one tolerance okay and then get the pen tool right click stroke path and press ok on brush and you will have these circles so press delete to remove the path and go to layers and hold control and press on the box of layer 1 where you actually put them and you will have the selection and now go to cheese and hold alt and press on the mask and now you can actually delete layer one and it will cut away from all the edges and it will be a mask and cheese so i'm gonna right click on this one convert to smart object and this one i'm gonna control j and control j two times the first one i'm gonna name it shadow and the second one i'm gonna name it cheese 3d so put the shadow underneath cheese and the cheese 3D in between cheese and shadow. Okay, we reach this stage here where we have cheese, cheese 3D and shadow. I turn off the effects of everything. So in cheese, I just go to effects or you can go to right click blending options and I added an inner shadow. It won't show now, it's just on the edges here you can find this little bit of light. So I added linear dodge, opacity 4 minus 90 angle, distance 5, size 3, and that's it. And you have this effect. And then let's remove this one and turn off the cheese 3D effect. So let's go to the cheese 3D effect and I'm gonna turn off these and start one by one. First I added a gradient overlay. The gradient overlay is multiply 40, gradient is Location 0% with the color of FBA F3A and the second one is 20% location with the color of FDC 747 and the third one is FBA F3A with the location of 47% and this one is 75% location FDC 747 and the last one is on 100 FBA F3A okay and then I added a drop shadow. A drop shadow doesn't show much, maybe later it will show. I put it on multiply, the color is DCA423 on opacity 60, angle 87, check off global light. And one distance, one size, maybe you can increase it a little bit like this, maybe on 2, 2 it will show more, or 3, 3. And put the contour on Gaussian. And then I'm going to add inner shadow. The inner shadow, I'm going to put it on color burn. And the color is black. 
27 opacity, minus 90, and the rest. And I'm gonna add the last is Bevel and Emboss. I put it on Inner Bevel, Smooth, Depth is 600, 8, 12. Maybe you can increase it a little bit. Or not. And put it on Angle, minus 90, minus 80 I mean. Check off Global Light, 38, and the rest. This is white and this is black. Okay. So then we have this nice effect. So what we have to do now is, let's add a shadow effect. So I'm going to turn on the shadow effect and you will see this shadow here. So let's check the shadow. I added just a drop shadow, multiply on black and 20 opacity, distance 63, 13 and the contour is Gaussian as well. And that's it. And let's turn on cheese and we will have this effect, only the three layers. So what to do next is, we have to click on cheese 3D and just control J duplicate it and press on the arrow buttons to down, move it twice down and then control J again and with the arrow key down, down, then do it again, down, down, keep doing it till you reach about 20 copies. Or you can do it automatically using the action, if you know how to use the action. But I think it doesn't mean much time, I think it's just like 2 minutes or 1 minute and you'll be done. Just control J, then press 2 times the arrow downward. I think that's it. Okay. So then we will have 19 copy to to this one so you can actually shift and click this one and you, all of them will be selected then right click merge layers and they will all be in one layer so i'm gonna turn off this layer here i'm gonna delete it and i'm gonna add the one i did before which is she's 3d done and put it on top and it's the same thing so i'm gonna remove this one here there's no need for this one anymore and we will have cheese cheese 3d done and shadow and the rectangle so then i added big holes and small holes so what are those add a new layer and let's name it big holes so in big holes we have to do is hold control and press on the box of cheese 3d done and it will select everything and then go to layer layer mask and reveal selection and you will have the same that i did before here and then you click on the box of Chia Big Holes and go to Window, Brushes and click on Cheese Holes and put it on 100 or 100, maybe 30. And let's put it on black and just click double, couple of clicks here and there. It's just random, you can choose whatever you want. And then after that, add a new layer, and let's name it Small Holes. And in Small Holes, you do the same thing. Hold Control and press on the box of Cheese 3D Done, you will select everything. And let's put now on maybe 14 size of the brush. And first you go to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal Selection. And click on the box of small holes and add as many as you want everywhere. Just keep doing until we reach. Let's delete them now. I'm gonna turn on the ones I did before and you will have this. So first when I add the effects of small holes, this happens. So let's let's see the effects. So let's remove them. I first added color overlay. And the color I put here is FCC14E and the rest. And then I added inner shadow. And inner shadow I put on linear dodge with white and opacity 13, distance 1, and the rest. And I added a bevel and emboss. The bevel and emboss I put it on inner bevel, smooth, 590, 3, 5, and the rest. Just keep adding the same thing I added. Okay? And then we go to big holes here. The same effects I added, uh, kind of, but like, let's see. 
So I added Bevel and Emboss, the same thing, in Revel, but this time I put Chisel Hard, and I put it on 220, 10, 10, minus 111, 42, and the rest. And I added the color overlay with, I think, the same color, FCCC, FCC 14E. And I added this time an Outer Glow overlay, for 23, and all the rest here. Maybe you can increase the opacity, decrease, whatever you want. It's just a small glow on the outside, as you can see here. Okay. So, we're kind of done here. When you zoom in, you'll find this nice, easy effect. And we're done.